this question was asked in the FR 2022 physics paper. It says there are two particles uh, as specified in the table. Uh, alpha particle and deuteron both enter in a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the direction of the field. And uh, it says that they both move in the circular trajectory and we need to find the ratio of the time period of one full revolution. So we know that for uh, for the motion perpendicular to the magnetic field the time period of one full revolution is given by 2 pi m over qb and clearly the time period is independent of the velocity of the particle hence yeah, it must be independent of the kinetic energy of the particle but wait the alpha particle the rest mass of the alpha particle is 3.7 giga electron volt but the kinetic energy is 11.2 giga electron volt which is nearly four times the rest mass energy so we have to take the relativistic effect into the account so if we take the relativistic effect into the account for the alpha particle we will get let's say t alpha is the time period for the alpha particle and it will be equal to 2 pi m m node let's say m node is the rest mass of the alpha particle into gamma divided by q b so uh, what is the value of the gamma we know that the uh, kinetic energy of the relativistic particle is equal to the m into c square the energy minus the rest mass energy m not c square so now m is equal to m not divided by root 1 minus v square over c square into c square minus m not c square this vector is 1 over this vector is gamma so this will be equals to gamma minus 1 m not c square so the gamma minus 1 will be equals to t over m not c square so gamma will be equals to 1 plus t over m not c square so putting the value in the time period t alpha will be equals to 2 pi m not and gamma is 1 plus t over m naught c square over q q is the charge on the alpha particle which is 2 e into b so t alpha will be equals to 2 pi let multiply and divide by c square so it will be equals to 2 pi m uh, m naught c square and m naught c square will cancel out so 2 pi uh, m naught c square rest mass energy plus t which is the kinetic energy divided by 2 e b square this is for the alpha particle now let us calculate the time period for the beta particle deuteron and we see here the rest mass energy is much greater than the kinetic energy so relativistic effect will not be applicable here so we can write the expression 2 pi m over q b for deuteron let's say this is t d d for deuteron is equal to 2 pi m m d say mass of the deuteron divided by the charge on the deuteron is e into b and we are given the rest mass energy so we can multiply and divide by c square so what will be the ratio the ratio turns out to be t alpha over t beta t d is equal to 2 pi m naught c square plus t over 2 e b c square into e b c square over 2 pi m d c square so e b c square e b c square 2 pi 2 pi will cancel out so it will be t alpha over t d equals to m naught c square plus t over m d c square and m naught c square for the uh, alpha particle is 3.7 3.7 gig gig electron volt plus t is 11.2 over rest mass energy of the deuteron is 1.9 1.9 gig electron volt and if we solve it and there is 2 also in the denominator and 2 and if we solve it we will get uh, 3.92 which is roughly equals to 4 so we are getting four uh wait for the final answer key to come but 
most probably the fourth option should be correct.